So a very short YouTube video this time because I quickly wanted to share with you an interesting thing I discovered about these old uh, GE tube radios. This is a, a 517F from 1950. My, my grandmother had one like this, so it has a, um, a sentimental interest uh, to me. The, uh, the 7 in 517F refers to the color of the case, this, this red, uh, which is somewhat rarer than some of the others, but this is the one she actually had, the color she actually had. And the F refers to the fact that it has this... Uh, uh, plug on the back you can plug your percolator into and have the alarm clock on the front turn the radio and the percolator on when uh, uh, when so when you get up in the morning you have music and coffee so that's uh, that's very nice and a feature of these radios is they're not very expensive because uh, I'm learning how to do this and uh, I don't want to spend a lot of money um, uh, on something I might mess up and also, I also swore I'd never make a YouTube video about any of this because there's thousands of YouTube videos on All American 5 radios made by people who are much smarter than I am and they're, and they're pretty good. And that's what I've been watching to, to learn how to do stuff. Uh, then, of course, once you get one of these and start playing with it, you, you start seeing them everywhere and then, you know, you wind up buying a, another one. And the, another thing that's good about them is that the, um, the dial doesn't have a dial string to, to worry about uh, stringing because this is connected directly to the top of the tuning capacitor. So that's nice. And so I'm starting to <laughs> collect these, I guess. Uh, what got me into this was uh, my wife's family. Uh, and we have now uh, have an old Sentinel radio from 1948 that's a Catalan wavy front uh, caramel colored uh, radio. Uh, Catalan is a, um, a plastic, uh, uh, but you can put a lot more colors in it than Bakelite. Um, and I'm going to work on that, and it's going to be tricky. Uh, so before I started working on that radio, which has some real value in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars, maybe 500, 600, uh, you know, 10 years ago, maybe uh, 1,200, uh, markets it down. But um, so I decided to start playing with these GEs. Anyway, so I'm recapping this one. And, I, and as I recapped it, I was using the, the J-hook method where you clip the old component out and you J-hook in your new... Uh, uh, capacitor or, or resistor and and then you don't have to actually touch the um, the soldering points but if you watch uh, YouTube videos of someone who's um, really anal retentive like Paul Carlson Mr. Carlson's lab he's always going well I don't know why people don't unsolder all this old solder and kind of you know redo everything nice and neat um, and that's great but if you look underneath this this chassis you can see that there aren't uh, soldering lugs or um, terminal strips uh, like you find under most radios, the wires just go up and disappear up to the top of the chassis. Now on the top of the chassis, you'll see around all the tubes, there is this circular donut um, uh, that uh, um, um, is, is protecting the, the connections. And in fact, there's also this long, a um, uh, couple inch long um, uh, rectangular piece uh, as well that's in the same uh, mold. So, so everything's um, being attached on top of the on top of the chassis. So uh, as I started to get into it more, even though uh, J hooking was working fine, and that's what the technical information from G says to do, uh, I said maybe as I start to get into some of these complicated um, connections where where five or six wires come together, maybe I actually really do want to um, uh, unsolder them uh, up on top. So. I finally got the gumption to uh, pry one of these aluminum shields off and it turns out there's two tabs that are bent out underneath and if you just lift one of them up you can hinge it out. You don't have to bend both tabs to lift the thing up. So if you look at what we've exposed here you'll see that there's all these soldering uh, barrels around the outside and that's what the wires are going into. And there's one of those for each of the pins on the tube, which are the small holes in the, in the middle. Um, and then there's a, a in, where the space in the tube pins is, there's, a, there's an eighth uh, barrel, which can be used as a general purpose connection. And indeed, that's how they bring the um, uh, AC line cord in, in in this particular case. This is the rectifier tube I, I've taken out. Um, so this is very clever because all the person assembling the radio has to do is shove the wires into the, into the barrel. And then I'm sure they had a special tool that, uh, you know, came down from overhead and um, uh, crimped the, the barrel and also soldered it at the same time. So, so very easy and fast to assemble. Uh, you're working away from the, the tube pins, so there's, there's more room. And uh, then you put an uh, aluminum shield on top of that and all your connections are shielded as well. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's kind of a clever manufacturing uh, technique. Um, for a person restoring a radio, uh, it's a, it could be a little bit of a pain. It's okay for me because I have one of these nice HECO 
uh, soldering guns I've had for, uh, desoldering guns I've had for a long time. So if I take that and put it on top of the uh, barrel and hit it, it heats it up and sucks most of the solder out. And then sometimes I have to go underneath the bottom and, and pick up a little bit, but then I can just pull all the wires uh, uh, right out. And then desoldering it back up, you just you know put a lot of heat on it and, and, and dump solder back in there. So that's all I wanted to say. I just thought it was very clever the way these uh, pins were put together, and um, and I wouldn't have thought to take it apart uh, except uh, last night. Uh, you know, uh, 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 Paul Carlson kind of the way he works kind of goaded me into actually looking at what was under there. Also, I wanted to see if there were any components like uh, capacitors or whatnot I hadn't seen hiding under there. So that was another reason to to, to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, have a great day.